Hi, this is uh, Joe Bassett. I'm the president and CEO of Don Equipment at uh, Farm Progress Show 2017. And um, we uh, have the new uh, Gen 5 Pluribus strip till unit here. This is our first new strip till row unit design in about seven years. And basically what we did was we took all the user feedback that we've gotten over that time and tried to just build as much as possible into it in terms of um, changes to the new row unit. So what I'll do is basically start at the front and move through it. Um, people that have used the product in the past uh, will understand a, a little bit more about some of the things that we're doing and why we're doing them. So one of the first things that's going on here is that uh, this product is the first strip till product um, or really on the market that has a row by row down pressure control system. And we knew from the outset that in, in the seven years that we haven't been coming out with a new strip till unit, we've really been focusing on evolving our planter control products. And now what we're doing is we're feeding back in with the same type of technology that we're bringing to planters into strip till. Because in reality, the, the strip till row unit, and especially a row unit, a Coulter type row unit like this, needs the automatic down pressure control even more than the planter because you have three disc blades. They're running relatively deep in the ground and it, it amplifies the, the transitions between hard and soft areas in the field. So it's really gonna benefit from automatic down pressure control. So you have the down pressure control actuator here and the sensor is actually here. So another change to the row unit, you have an equalizer gauge wheel arm setup. So the gauge wheel arms equalize the force between them as you go over uneven terrain, which is important for getting a consistent strip, but also for um, getting a consistent measurement for the down pressure. The, the uh, load sensor is right here at the bottom of the depth adjuster. Now we have an easy depth adjustment. Another piece of user feedback that people uh, were irritated about is the difficulty of adjusting the depth. Now we have an easy depth adjustment there. There's a new type of crumbler wheel. There's gonna be a couple crumbler wheel options there. But one of the other things that, pieces of feedback that we got was that, you know, this unit kind of makes a U-shaped trough in the soil, right? And, and so this new row unit goes about an inch deeper than the previous row unit. And what we wanted to focus on was keeping all the soil in that kind of tilled area, keeping it confined there. Even at the higher speeds that this unit operates, we're not gonna let it fly off to the side. And so that's why you see these new guards, so that this system is creating like a fluidized stream of soil that starts at the front and it excites it and then these two coulters grab it and it kind of creates this turbulent flow of soil moving through the row unit. Then these wheels spin and chop at it and break up the clods. And at 10 or 12 miles an hour, there's a lot going on there and these guards actually help confine the soil and keep it all trapped in that tilled area. The front disc blade, all three disc blades are now 18 inches, okay? So there, you have one part number. The front coulter blade is supported from both sides. There's a new hub, a heavier duty hub that supports the front blade. And this is really cool. You have this trailing arm floating row cleaner setup, okay? But it uses the GFX hydraulic cylinder. So Right now we only have the hydraulic version, but we're gonna have a lower cost pneumatic and a higher cost hydraulic version of this product, just like we do for the planters. And this, this is really, people are gonna love that, just being able to fine tune that uh, row cleaner. The arm here it has a cutaway, so there's nothing it, keeping the flow of soil uh, from reaching back here. We've created additional clearance from the soil surface to the underside, just so that if you're in really wet conditions, it gives you more um, room for mud to flow through there. And then one of the really critical features of this row unit is that our strip till concept is gonna become modular. So instead of it being one monolithic structure, there's this attachment point. And so the front linkage Coulter row cleaner down pressure actuator system will stay with the frame and that will form the basis for a whole family of products that you detach here, you can take that off. We have a knife type strip till module, you can stick that on, 
for people that want to put on anhydrous in the fall or want to use a, a knife, you can take that off. There's going to be a strip freshener. There's going to be a whole variety of different things that can all fit onto that same core linkage right there. And so it's, um, it's a lot of changes. Uh, you know, here, just thinking about the, how the, the, the residue flows between the rows. This row unit is four inches narrower than the old row unit. And so as the residue flows around here, it's just a much more streamlined and sleek uh, design too. So um, from a controller standpoint, this, this will come with an ISO bus controller. Um, so it'll use whatever monitor you already have. And that's pretty much it. Um, we're accepting orders. So uh, the pricing of this row unit has gone up. Um, the air version of the new row unit, the Gen 5 row unit, we're going to sell the air version at around $37.50. The uh, hydraulic version around $39.50 for the fully hydraulic control system. So thanks a lot.